What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Now, today is the last day of the world's testing, or testing for worlds, I guess is correct way to say it. This is Thursday, the day before worlds, and today we're going to look at the water box deck. I think this deck, water box deck, I think this deck is still really strong. I think it has a lot of potential, and even though Pokemon Ranger has come out to kind of negate Sidestone, I think this deck can still easily get around it and still beat those decks. Now, I will say that Pokemon Ranger did ruin Regice. As you see, we are not playing Regice anymore and instead we're playing a second Articuno and besides that I can't really see that much of a change. I know some people, some people are playing Aegislash but I am obviously playing Aegislash instead of Glaceon. Glaceon makes where evolutions can hurt it but if you put an Aegislash against like a a best queen deck, and they don't play nothing like no hex, no basic energies. You can just auto win. So I think Aegis Slash is very needed, and especially since Valpum, I mean, Val best queen is being best queen Valpum is being one of the hype cards. I think Mighty Shield can just easily win you that matchup. Now, of course, it's could change. They play like Hex Maniac, if they play basic lightning and stuff like that. But even if they play like basic energies. You can still knock him out before they even like, get attack off, which is pretty cool. Now, obviously, the deck revolves around Water Pokemon, depending on the situation. Yeah, the, all these different attackers. So, Size Toad, Quake and Punch, 30. Your opponent can play Ida Cards, but they can play Pokemon Ranger to get rid of that. But if your opponent. Your opponent only probably plays one Pokemon Ranger, so they have to find the Pokemon Ranger and then have another VS Seeker to chain it. So I don't, I'm don't, i not too concerned about Pokemon Ranger with size 30 x Now, don't get me wrong, I think Ranger does destroy like Giratina, uh, Jolteon, Regice, because you could just, you know, with those decks, you can use Pokemon Ranger and then take a knockout. With you know Night March and stuff like that against Sidestone, they might be able to take a knockout, but they're gonna use it for one turn, uh, which is something they have to worry about. So I don't know. Uh, I think I think it's okay with Quake of Punch. I think it's fine with Quake of Punch. We're okay with that. And a Grenade Hammer 130 and it does 30 damage to two of your punch, two of your bench Pokemon. All right, so two mana fee for the Aqua Tube. All of your Pokemon has Water G's, has for your treat. And Mineral Pump 60, heal 30 damage from each of your bench Pokemon, which could easily beat you, easily beat a, a Trenna deck if needed, which is pretty cool. Two Articuno, and the main thing we're using is Tri-Edge. Flip three coins, the deck does 40 more damage for each edge. And you have the Delta Plus uh, trait, which lets you take another prize card. So if you take out like low HP Pokemon, like uh, the Night Marchers, maybe Kobe, Oddish, and stuff like that, you can take an extra prize card, which does help out a lot. One Hoopa to help Scoundrel and search for three EX Pokemon, and two Shamans. That's all the Pokemon in the deck. Three Energy Switch to move your energies around. Four Max Elixirs, one Megaphone to get rid of tools, one Super Rod to get back mainly energies, but Pokemon as well. Three, three Train as well, four Ultra Ball, four Via Seeker. All the stuff we've seen. Like, literally, this is literally the same deck that we did a, a couple months ago. Uh, the only thing is, we're now playing, uh, we're now playing. Uh, second Articuno, uh, but one AZ, one Hex Maniac, two Life Center, two N, four Sycamore, one Zero Sig, uh, four Rough Seas to heal 30 damage for each of your Water Pokemon, which is really strong, three Fighting Field to give your Pokemon 40 more HP and do 10 more damage and 11 Water Energy. And over the past couple days, we've seen like what? Oh, except Night March. We've seen Night March, which that can be if you Quake a Punch pretty early and then they're stuck and then you just win that way. Uh, day number two, we saw Best Good Vile Plume, which Aegis Slash can be. And you can still Quake a Punch and put them in a weird position, especially if they don't get like, they don't have a really explosive turn one, which we saw Monday, which that happens sometimes. Tremnant, you have Mana Feed, which can uh, can uh, heal with Mineral Pump, which is pretty nice. Um, and then yesterday we saw Zork, and uh, Zork is an interesting matchup. Not 100% how that does work, but you can quake him, get him out of, like, where they can't play item cards, and uh, that's actually really bad for them, because unlike Tremnant, they can hit for weakness, which is something they worry about, and best of all, when they fill their bench up, but with this, you actually don't have to fill your bench up, you can just have a side to kind of chill in there, maybe another side to the bench, they can hit you for, like, maybe 60 max, but then you rough seas and stuff like that, and it becomes very, very interesting, and so this is going to be the deck we're going to try out. The last day of the testing for us is going to be this side stone or the water tool boss deck. I think it's really strong. Uh, so let's press save. I'm not sure if I saved it when I edited it, but saving. We'll go to versus mode and we'll play three games like always. And we'll see what happens. I think it's funny that all of our decks are near the end. We had trees, vessel plume. I guess night march. Well, night march was still like what? Right here? Okay, never mind. There's nothing else before that except Greninja. Uh, which I don't think Greninja is that good of a play. Don't get me wrong, Greninja is still great and all. But I, I don't personally like Greninja. I, it's hard to set up and stuff like that. Um, I think it loses the Trenant pretty easily, as we saw in the Trenant video. I think we did beat a Frogadier deck. Um, 
I don't think it's that good. Zor kind of Zor. I think it, though, like Zor is definitely an interesting matchup, but he pretty much lose. Your opponent does get set up. Nightmark can beat your ninja pretty easily. Um, what else? Vesku Valpum can beat uh, uh, can beat it pretty easily. So yeah, I don't think your ninja is that great at play for worlds, but it might come back to bite me. But we see a psychic dragon and a colors deck. This could be a Latios Donk, maybe kind of deck. Uh, and also with Water Toolbox, another cool card that we could play is Ninja Boy because you can switch out your attackers and blah blah blah. But Ninja Boy is currently banned online, which man, Ninja Boy being banned online just made my testing so weird. Um, because I can't play in online. So my opponent won the coin flip. My opponent is going to go first, of course. Why would you not want to go first? All right, so we get Articuno. We get a max looks but besides that, we don't have anything really. Now, if we top deck a Pokemon, um. We tell like a Hoopa, man. If we tell like Hoopa, we'd be a okay. All right, so far it's done. And now let's see what we're playing against: Psychic Dragon and Colors. I think neither one of us has the advantage, if I remember correctly. But I could be wrong. So it looks like they might have another Pokemon. It looks like they're deciding what to do. Do they put another Pokemon down or not? I want to see why not, unless it's a Shamer or a Hoopa. But it looks like they are not. If they do have Pokemon, there is a Lydeo. So yeah. Lydeos is definitely a scary card, especially when you're playing like Night March and stuff like that, because faster you can do 40. If you do first, if you go first, you attack on your first turn. So that is a very, very scar, very, very scary card for Night March and uh, Viscid Valpum and stuff like that. Another Lydeos coming down. Must have been onto the active. I was like, mass, okay, Geovite is going to do 20 more damage. So they're doing 80 right now. If they find a, like, they find a Psych Energy. Uh, Ultra Blood is cutting a Hex and a Fighting Free Belt. To get out Shave, they're going to set up for six new cards. All right, we are going to see a Light Pulse for 80 damage if he finds a Psychic Energy or a Double Dragon. So we're going to set up for the six new cards. Okay. All right, there's a Mew, which can copy Latios. Must make going to Mew as okay. No, on the Latios compressor, going to discard three cards out of the deck and a Victory Screen. Let's look at our opponent's deck real quick. That's this is very okay. So four Latios, four Mew, three Hydrogen. Okay, a Special Charge, an Retrieval. Okay, four Giovanni Scheme. Okay, all right, all right. Whatever, we'll see. That's that's a deck. All right, we'll see. One, we'll see. That that doesn't count. That does, that does not count as a game. That that's that doesn't count as a game. That does not count. Okay, all right. On to game number one again. Take two. Game number one. All right, guys. Well, hopefully y'all enjoyed the series. I think it's been a lot of fun recording these live matches. Next week, don't worry. We'll go back to it. I'm still going to play this current format because it still exists for, like, lead challenges and stuff like that, which I think if you're going to lead challenges, you need to know it's good in this format. I know when September hits, the rotation happens, stuff like that. But we're playing against T-Wiz. Uh, T Is this, like, a, a shout to Taylor Swift or something? I'm not sure. But uh, we lost the coin, so we'll be going second, and we're most likely playing against a Trevenant deck. So in our opponent's turn, and let's see what happens. All right, so we're going to mull again. All right. All righty. And uh, let's see what can we do. If it is a Trevor deck, it's going to come down to do they have a turn with Wale or not. Um, if they don't have one of those, we'll be okay. We can play our item cards. So we'll press done. We'll show up our hand in the deck and get seven new cards. Another mulligan. All right, all right. We'll take number three. Oh, no. We start with Hoopa. Oh man! All right, so press done. I'm so I think we're really good at starting with like Pokemon we're not supposed to start with. I think like what a Vesca Valpum we start with Shaman twice or something like that. That was pretty fun. Uh, but let's see what happens. Um, if they get two more turn it, we're gonna be in trouble. All right, so <laughs> draw two cards. And there's a Phantom. We gotta figure out what we're into here. There's a Trains Mill. Okay, I'm hiding right now. I'm hiding. I'm scared. I'm scared right now. I'm so scared. Scared. Help me, Pokemon. Pokemon, please don't do this to me. Come on now, don't give him, don't give him a Wally, don't give him no Wally. I, I see you, Hoopa. You don't have to, you don't have to jump at me like that. That was scary. Um, but let's, we'll see what happens. Okay, Zerosic? Was that a Zerosic? I'm fine that's Zerosic. How many cards in his hand? Three, six, and nine. Okay. Uh, do we? Oh, we had a Mulligan. That's why. Okay. All right, makes sense. I was, I was like, what? What's going on here? Alright, so uh, we're still waiting on our opponent to decide what to do. I'm still trying to figure out if his name is like a shout out to Taylor Swift or not. It looks like I don't have a problem with Taylor Swift. I love Taylor Swift. Um, but if he doesn't put down another Pokemon, we could potentially win the next turn. Like maybe Grenade Hammer. Uh, maybe going for uh, a pass. Oh my goodness. Alright, so a Train Smell. 
We'll grab an Ultra Ball. All right, all right. I like that. I like Ultra Ball. So we'll Ultra Ball. We'll discard uh, Rough Seas and the Water Energy. Oh, yeah, that's fine. We'll grab Articuno. Articuno Jinx. Pokemon. All right, so we can potentially get this. So get Articuno. We'll put that Articuno. We will max elixir and we got a water energy. All right, so put a water energy in that guy. Find a free belt, water energy, sycamore, discard our hand, draw seven new cards. Oh, okay, no, we can't. No, we can't get it. We need a mana for. All right, so we'll max elixir. No, no valid targets. No Pokemon. Oh, no. What do we do now? Okay. All right, so put out size toad. We'll energy switch, move a water energy from this guy to this guy. Um, we'll be a seeker for it or for Sycamore, and I guess we'll super rod shuffle in the water energy. Man, we barely miffed it, we barely whiffed it. All right, so in our turn, if we had, I mean, I guess we didn't have it regardless, I mean, we ha had the um, yeah, we whiffed the max here. Um, so I mean, regardless, we didn't have it, but let's see what T Wiz has here. There's a the trainer coming down, okay, all right. Alright, so that guy come down. Okay. Alright, I can dig it. Uh Psych Energy Deactive, okay. And there's a crushing hammer on the heads. Discarding water energy off the bench, size stone, I would guess. Yep. Alright, so crushing hammer coming down. And let's see what else does our opponent have here. Um we got a rough siege pretty much useless right now. I mean, man. Okay, so on our turn. We got a VS Seeker, so I'll put down Rough Seas. I want to stick a more discard our hand, draw 70 cards. Alright, so we get another Water Jew attached on this guy. Uh, put down Side Stone, and we'll pass. Alright, so things are looking bad right now. They're looking really bad. Like, we started Hoopa, which I know it hurt us a lot. Uh, I think we'll probably like a really like conservative right now. So there's a Dimension Valley coming down, okay. All right, okay, how do we do this? Uh, the turn to break coming online, all right? We'll see Silent we do 30 to everybody. Can we top deck a Sycamore and in um, anything? That'd be great. So, just give me something top deck, Pokemon. Give me something top deck, Pokemon. Man, that like... Man, it started with Hoopa. Just, man, that's just unfortunate. That's, that's the thing. It's so unfortunate. That was third of Hoopa, but it does happen. It does happen. We, we, we can't complain too much about it. But my opponent is taking a second. What can they do? That is the question here. What's going on? All right, come on. Okay, so there's an Ultra Ball. Going to discard two cards from the hand. They're going to discard a Sycamore and a Trenant Break. All right. Maybe they're, like, like really thinking out their turns. There's a Shaman coming down, which I guess if we get a Life Center, we can maybe Shaman up. Or Life Center up. The Life Center of the Shaman. All right, so Shame is set up for three. Okay. Ow, I hit my toe. So Shame is set up for three. Can my opponent find another crush neighbor? That'd be, that'd be really crushing if they do. All right, so let's see. What will my opponent do here? Just wait to see what happens. So it's not here. Going to do 30 to everybody. And let's see. What do we talk to? 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. All right. So in our turn, we get a... Alright. Oh, camera's out of focus. Alright. 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 So Alright. Alright. 30 there, everybody. Okay. Alright. Alright. We'll just sit here and cry just a little bit on our turn. We'll get a Lysander. Alright. So I'm going to Lysander bring this guy up. I am going to Rough Seas. I am going to Max Luxor. Get a Water Gen, this guy. Boop! Uh, put down rough seas. I will ultra ball. Discard one and two. And with this, I am going to grab a Shaber. Come to me, Shaman, baby. Alright, so Shaman set up for uh, five new cards. Okay, yes. And let's see. What do we get off Shaman? Alright, so I'm going to max elixir. Get a water G onto this guy. And with this train as well, we need an Ultra Ball. Come to me, Ultra Ball. And oh, we don't got it. We got a Sigma for the next turn if we want to use it. Uh, so we will. 
And our turn. Alright, so we'll just end our turn onto our opponent's turn. Next turn we got AC, you can pick up Hoopa, and we can maybe Quicken Punch the Trevenant, and then next, the following turn, Grenade Hammered. That's the plan. That is the plan right now. We'll have to see what our opponent does. Um, do they have energy to treat the, the Shaman? Do they have more Crushing Hammers? Um, uh, but regardless, we have AZ, so we're, we're, we're attacking next turn as long as our opponent does not play an N. If they play in, we're in trouble. If they play double Crush Nammer, if they Crush Nammer and Headringer, there's an Ultra Ball. Go and discard two cards from their hand. I'm discarding a Wally and a Trevenant. Okay. Uh, there's another Shaman coming down. Okay, so they're going to set up, draw two new cards. Unless they have something else in their hand to play down. Let's see. Can they find a Dimension Valley? We played... Oh, my goodness. Three Rusties are gone. This is Rusty getting a Fighting for Belt. Okay. So that's good. Uh, Zerosa coming down means we do not have to worry... Uh, bouts uh, in this turn, which is great. All right, so Shame is setting up, okay. And there's another Phantom coming down. All right, I'm fine with that. It does want to find energy or not. It's the big question. They do not. All right, so on our turn, we'll AZ pick up the Hoopa, <coughs> sit in the side stone, rough seas, attach a water energy to this guy. The reason I'm doing this is case he does decide to go for a uh, uh, oh, we could grenade hammer this turn. Do a grenade hammer? Um, yeah, grenade hammer, whatever. Yeah, we'll choose both these Pokemon. All right, so go down to four price cards. I think that's fine. I think it's for. I think it's fine. Grenade hammer right now. All right, so thirty both those guys. We'll go down to four price cards. Yeah, I think taking price cards is what we need. So megaphone and a water energy. All right, and trying to break probably coming up most likely. But um, they keep the rough seas out. We can uh, heal it. But we can quake a punch. Things are about to come really strange here in a second. So trying to break code to the active. Ultra opponent's turn. All right, have we played Hex Maniac? We have not played Hex Maniac either, which could be really, really useful. All right, so there goes the D Valley coming down. Okay. Uh, Lysander, bring it up the size toad. All right, so luckily we still have Manaphy in the deck. That's the main thing. So Silent Fair doing 30 to everybody. Okay, 30, 30, 30, 30. All right. On our turn, we get a Sycamore. So Water to the active. We'll play Sycamore. Discard our hand. Draw seven new cards. Can we find a Manaphy or not? And there is the Manaphy. All right, so put down Manaphy. Free tree to Side Stone, and we will Quake and Punch for 30 damage. So next turn, we can Grenade Hammer to knock it out, which is very, very useful. All right, so on our opponent's turn, we're going to draw a card. And uh, we could maybe, like, Lysander Shaman next turn, but I want a Grenade Hammer to knock out this Trevenant Break to get rid of the threat, I think. I think it's the correct play. We could maybe set up an Articuno, go for Triad, but that'd be a... Crazy flip. We need four, eight, nine, ten. We need like all three heads. I, I don't want to do that, do that route for sure. I don't want to do that. That'd be too crazy. Um, but we can maybe uh, Hex Maniac train as well, draw four cards. Uh, let's see. So he can do 30, 30, 30. Okay, so we're looking good. We are looking good right now. I am fine with this. My opponent can't Ultra Ball to get out of Tremnit. We are looking good. I think we're looking good. I could be wrong. We could be looking really bad, but I think I think we're okay right now. I think we're fine. I think we're fine to win this game. There's a Wally going to get trimmed out and play. Okay. There's a trim not coming down. Okay. And what else does my opponent have? Now, Sonic, we're going to do 30. Everybody okay? All right. So on our turn, what do we get? We get an Oat Ball, Okay. How many? We play three via seekers. That's all our via seekers. I'm, I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. So a hex maniac. What we'll trainer's mill? We'll grab a fighting fear belt. All right, and I'm gonna actually fight for belt the uh, shaman. Yep, I'm gonna water G the manaphy, and I'm gonna go for a grenade hammer. Do it a hundred and thirty. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. One twenty, and then the turn, 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 turn. Uh. Well, Ultra Ball, me Ultra Ball first, and discard Aegis Slash and Articuno. And let's see what's left in our deck. Alright, so. Do, 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 do. We'll grab a Shaman, but hold on to it. We're not going to play it just yet. Alright. And we'll Grenade Hammer for the knockout, doing 130 damage. We'll do 30 to Seismitoad and Articuno. I think that's fine. I'm fine with him knocking out Articuno next turn, whatever. I don't care about that. So 30 damage, but those guys take 30 damage, whatever. I'm trying to go for Middle Pump to heal 30 from all our Pokemon. So we're going to have three price cards. There's a Rough Seas. Yes, that's all I like to see. All right. So um, if my opponent is not going to try to break, um, 
We'll be fine. Yeah, I, yeah, I know he got a price card off that, but I, I think I think that's a better play. All right, yeah, hey, we're fine with this. I'm, I'm fine with all this right now. So let's see what happens. Um, next time we can, we can grenade hammer if he doesn't find another break. He does have two breaks in the discard pile, correct? Yeah, two breaks are in the discard pile. He has one left somewhere. Uh, how many dimension values are in here? Just one. That's the scary thing right there. That is the scary part about this. Now, what we could do next turn is maybe go for Metal Pump for 60. He'll 30 from everybody. There's a VS Seeker for a Life Center. Bring it up, Shaman. Most likely, I think that's what we're going to see. All right, so let's see. Uh, probably see Shaman. Yep, Life Center. Bring it up, Shaman EX. Okay. And let's see. Does that opponent have anything or not? Now, we could. We'll draw a card. Go down to five. We get Shaman. And then. Set up for two, I think. Maybe three. All right, so on our turn, we are... Oh, my goodness. Okay, in. All right, so we'll put down Rough Seas. Well, Shaman. Set up for a couple. All right, yep. And let's see, can we find a Water Geo or not? All right, so there's a Water Geo. Put it on the active. We'll use Rough Seas. Heal 30 from our uh, own Water Pokemon. We'll free retreat into the side stone, and we will Grenade Hammer. For the knockout. Alrighty. So now, oh man, we should, probably should have played in. In. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we should have probably end. Alright, yeah, we probably should have end. Uh, but we're grenade hammer, do 30 damage to both these guys. If you play the, a, if you play full stone, bundle be burbo, we lose the game. Alright, so we get a prize card, get a water energy, but next to we get life center and knockout shaman. Alright, so another opponent's turn. And let's see, what does T-Wiz have for us? I'm still convinced we're playing against Taylor Swift right now. Is this Taylor Swift? That's the question. So Zikamore, discard the hand, drawn seven new cards. So they play Bursty Balloons and Crushing Hammers? That's crazy. That is crazy. All right, so let's see, what do they find? Can they find a Phantom or not? And they don't, I mean, regardless, we have a Lysander. So Dimension Valley coming down, okay, don't care about that. They need, like, double Crushing Hammer Headringer to prevent me winning next turn. There's an Ultra Ball. Discarding two cards from the hand, getting a Phantom out. All right, Wally and a Gengar. A Gengar. That's something I, I did not expect. So Phantom coming down, okay. All right, all right, all right, Phantom. All right, all right. All right, so we'll see Phantom coming down, most likely. Come to me, Phantom. All right, so there's a Headringer. Does he have double Crush Namer? Psyche Energy. Phantom. Oh, baby. All right, so we're good to go. There's no way he can win now. He'll use his engine, get out of but we have a license to bring up Shave and win the game. He actually has no Trevenants left in his deck. He has four Trevenants. All right, so we'll license to bring up Shaman, and we will Grenade Hammer for the knockout. All right, so there we go. There's game number one of the uh, Water Toolbox deck. Woo! All right, I was a little bit scared there, but we did it. All right, so there we go. You can see how strong this deck is getting that Zorosic and a Fighting Group Belt. All right, can we see? Nope, we can't see our opponent's deck. So we'll press play. Oh, wait, wait, two more games to the deck. Oh, man, it's already been 20, 30 minutes. That was a long game there. I don't know if it's because our opponent took a long time or I took a long time, but whatever. That's a, that's a good game, I guess. Uh, Trevor was a little bit scary, but my opponent kind of dead drew. They did put a lot in their deck, though. They had Headringers, Crush Nammer, Bursting Balloons, Gengar. Like, some really unconventional. Like, the Gengar is definitely unconventional that you really won't see at Worlds. But maybe. I could be wrong. Maybe somebody's playing it. I'm not going to say anything. But uh, we're looking at game number two. We'll see what happens. Hopefully... We play against like a. I really play against a Zork deck. That'd be something to see what it's like. I don't know how Zork goes. Don't know how that matchup goes. But either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed the series. It's been a lot of fun recording it. Um, tomorrow will be the World Championship. I'll be there. Be excited. Uh, get to see everybody's faces. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, so here we go. Game number two. We're playing against Swoopstar, playing a Psychic Fighting and a Colors deck. So every opponent loads the game. They have Chikorita sleeves. All right. So press heads, and let's see what's going to happen. We get to go first. That is fantastic. So yes, I would love to go first. All right, so in our turn, what do we get? All right, so Shay may start. Man, we started Hoopa last game, correct? Why are we so good at starting Pokemon that we don't need to start? I don't know, but at least we don't start Hoopa, so that's good. Alright, so uh, i put two Pokemon down, okay. Another Pokemon down, okay. Alright, so let's see what happens. So there's a Lucario, Lucario, and a Zubat. So I'm going to Ultra Ball, discard Ultra Ball, and an N. And we got a Hoop, the Hoopa's in the deck, and there it is, good old Hoopa. Alright, at least Hoopa wasn't prized, correct? So we'll Scoundering, search for three EX Pokemon, yes. 
We'll grab for uh, this guy, this guy, and then probably another red eyes. Oh, you could maybe yeah. Let's grab another shaman. Whatever. We'll, we'll try to set up some more. Get like a ton of energy to start one. So we'll grab these two guys. One, two, three. Okay. We'll put down Science Toad, Water Energy onto him. Max Elixir, we'll grab a Water Energy, put that on Science Toad. We'll put down Manaphy, a Trainer's Mode looking for Fighting Fear Bolt. Uh, we'll press Done, and we will Shaman set up for five new cards. Alrighty, let's see what do we get off Shave A. Four, five. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to pass right now because I don't want to be a secret for N because we don't know what my opponent is playing. They could have a bad hand, and I don't want to give them a good hand if they have a bad hand. Uh, so there's a muscle man going to Lucario. Okay, we see a strong energy. Okay, and a Karina going to search deck for a fighting card and an item card. So let's see what they decide to get out. Uh, maybe a carving. Carving could be very interesting. So a Lucha and a muscle band. All right, a Lucha. They're gonna, be, they're gonna be using some wall lucha here, but Mr. Jab not affected by resistance. So uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so muscle band, muscle band, strong energy, shave a set up for five new cards. And the opponent's having a phenomenal turn one. All right, so setting up, gonna get a bunch of stuff, and we'll see what happens. I mean, next turn we could go for grenade hammer, but that'd be uh, going, that'd be pretty crazy. Uh, fighting steel coming down, and there's a missile jab for 90 damage. All right, on to our turn, we get a VS Seeker. So I'm gonna put a water gen in the active. We'll megaphone, get rid of all those tool cards. Um, Ultra Ball, discard the trainer's ball and a water energy. With this, I'm gonna grab Articuno. Yeah, we could get a slash and like tap and stall, like how you can't hurt us because you have a strong energy kind of thing. But I really don't care about this too much. Put that Articuno. Be a secure for in. Both players get a new hand. Uh, six. But we'll quickly push next turn and uh, put some pressure on the Lucario. We're actually looking for a fighting fear belt. And, oh no, we whiffed it. Um. All right. So a max elixir. Okay. No valid targets. Perfect. Uh, we will free treat. Into the side stone EX and we'll go for a good old quake and punch for 30 damage. Now we did have a fighting field, we can do 40, and the next turn do 140 with the grenade hammer to finish a knockout. But as of right now, we cannot knock out the Lucario. Alright, but let's see, he can miss trap for 3, 4, 5, uh, maybe 6, 7, no, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 100 damage in rough seas, and things become very weird for us. So. Uh, we'll see what he does. Also, Articuno can maybe take two price cards. There's a go back coming down. Gonna do 20 damage, probably on Shaman to take a knockout. Yep. Alright, so better go down to four price cards. Alrighty. So, one to two. Okay, alright. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. I'll allow, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Uh, Lucario coming down, okay. And let's see what else does my opponent do here. Alright, does he have another uh, energy? Okay, nope, just 70 damage. Wow, still 70 damage. That's very scary. So in our turn, we get a side stone. Um, let's see, have we played a super rod? We have not played a super rod. So put a water gen in this guy. I will put down side stone. And I'm just going to stick a more discard a hand, draw in seven new cards. And the reason I'm doing this, my opponent really hasn't played anything, so I'm fine with just Sycamore. That's okay with me. There's a rough sea, so we'll rough seas. Here are Size Toad down some more. We will Max Luxor. No, we whiffed the Max Luxor. No, 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 no. That's not good. All right, so we'll grenade a Quake Punch for 30. All right, so let's see. Let's see. Articuno can do 8, 9. Okay, so we can't, we're not going to go for Articuno just yet. But next time we can go for Grenade Hammer to knock out Lucario if we want to do that. Um, so there's a fight still coming out, okay, counter, counter our rough seas, uh, Sycamore, go and discard the hand, draw on seven new cards, now see, if he gets a strong energy, six, eight, ten, twelve, uh, he needs a strong energy and a crowbat, but that's not a crowbat, alright, so looking good, uh, Crucial Smash for 80, not 100 damage, alright, so in our turn, we get that guy, so what we do is, I'm gonna, this, retreat into this guy, Energy switch, a water geo from this guy to this guy. And I'm going to Zerosi to discard that strong energy. So that's a pretty cool turn there. All right, so we'll do all that play, and then we'll Quake and Punch for another 30 damage. Okay. All right, so that's, that was a pretty cool a play there. Combo Wombo City right there. All right, so now opponents are going to draw a card. Do we go for Articuno next turn or not? We Quake and Punch for 30 more, and then maybe go for... <laughs> I really want to get this Tri Edge off. I don't know why. I don't know why I want to do this uh, so bad. But there's a license to bring it up. No, our side of the toad. So he's actually going down two price cards. Oh, we have to be aggressive next turn. We have to be ag aggressive. Uh, if we don't, he, he actually had a knockout missile jab. Three, four, five. 
Yeah, I think he already had the knockout, maybe? Unless I'm crazy. Alright, so he goes down to two prize cards. So we need a water energy this turn. We need to go for grenade hammer. If we don't, we just lose the game. Alright, still in our turn. We get a water energy. All the top decks are real. So we're going to go for grenade hammer. Knock out the active. Uh, we'll do, water, we'll do 30 to both these guys. Alright, so 130, but now opponent can play item cards, and this could potentially be scary. Opponent might be able to win the game. We'll go down to four price cards, one and two. We get a Sycamore and a Water Energy. Um, let's see here. Okay, so here goes Hololucha. If opponent decides a Hololucha, we can maybe go for a Triage to knock it out. That could be something. You take two price cards off that. There's a Fighting Energy, so I don't think he can take the game this turn. So Hololucha coming down, okay? Uh, Professor Birch's observation going to shuffle his hand and deck and get and uh, Tails only getting four. I'll allow it. All right, so uh, there's a Crowback coming down. Going to do 30 damage on to somebody. If I was him, probably the Shebe. Nope, gonna put on this guy. All right, he's starting to knock out the next one. Flying press. So flying press for 80 damage. Okay. On our turn, we get a Water G. So I'm gonna Water G this guy, and I'm gonna go for Sycamore. I'm going to put down another side story, enable Sycamore, discard a hand, drawn seven new cards, can we find, oh no, so put down Rough Seas, we will Rough Seas, okay, alright, he still can't take a game, he can't take a knockout this turn, I don't think, so I'm going to go Quick Punch, no, do we go for Grenade Hammer, yeah, we'll go for Grenade Hammer, and we'll Grenade Hammer, put 30 on this guy, and 30 on this guy, okay, alright, alright, so Grenade Hammer on the Halucha. Those guys take 30. We'll go down to 3 prize cards. Alright, so we get a Max Elixir. That's what I was trying to get last turn, but we didn't, we didn't, get, we didn't get that. Alright, so let's see. There's a Hollow coming up again. All to our opponent's turn. I'm going to draw a card. And uh, let's see. There's a Zubat coming down. Okay. There's a Fighting Stable coming down again. Okay. We are having a war. There's another Birch coming down. Come on, give another Tails Birch. And that Tails, there we go. That's what I like to see, buddy. Uh, he's played two fighting stadiums, okay. Played two rough seasons, strong energy, so six, eight, okay. Ten, that's not a knockout. We still are surviving. 100 damage. How much HP? 30 left. Alright, so we get a BS seeker. So I'm going to rough seas. Uh, heal our size 30x, okay. Do we have AZ? I didn't know this deck played AZ. I don't know what I'm talking about. Alright, so. <laughs> um, why did you this guy? Max Luxor? Alright. Oh, there was there is an AZ. What am I talking about? Yeah, there is an AZ. Okay, so press done. Well, Ultra Ball. How many VS Seekers have I played? Alright, so I'm going to Ultra Ball. Discard one and two. I'm not going to get anything. So we'll press done. Well, VS Seeker for it in. I'm looking for a fighting three belts. Alright, so grab the end. Play it. And let's see what to get off three. Can we find a fighting three belt or not? And we do get it. Alright. So, the reason I want this is I'm going to put a fighting field on an Articuno. I'm going to retreat into the Articuno. And I'm going to go for a triage. We just need one head. Alright. Oh, we got it. Oh, we got two regardless. So, there we go. Take a knock on the Hollow Lucha. We've got out one prize card. There we go. So, one and two. And we get a Hex Maniac and a Fighting Fear Belt. Okay. So, we have... One more VS Seeker left. If we can get it off this card, we can win the game. Here comes Lucario, because we can license it or bring up this guy. Take a, a, an automatic. Oh, we don't take an automatic knockout. We'll grenade him with, with Sidestone to win to knock out Shave. That's what we're gonna do next turn. All right, so fighting to the active. Okay. Uh, Az picking up Shave. Does he put the Shave back down? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Regardless, if we get a VS Seeker, we can knock out Shave. We can knock out Zubat. We can do whatever we want to. They're set up. Gonna draw five new cards. Okay. And let's see what's going to happen with my opponent. Oh, man. So there's a muscle man going down. This guy doesn't... I don't care about muscle man, really. Uh, hollow, uh, hollow, hollow coming down again. Okay. And there's a missile jab for 50 damage. All right. So in our turn, let's see what's going to happen. And we top deck the light... We, did we not play light center? Okay, no, place two light center. Duh. All right. So light center, bring up Shaman. We will retreat into the side story X and we'll do grenade hammer for 130 damage. There we go. There's game number two. We'll put 30 on both these guys. And there's game number two of the water toolbox deck. We have one more game to play with this deck. Let's see what happens. Alright, so there's a water G victory scoring.
All right, so let's press play and let's see what's going to happen in the last game of this series of the. I think my contact just fell out. I need an answer. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. I thought I, I thought I fell out. Fall out. Was I crying? Was I crying? Because I was so. I don't know. I don't know what just happened. What? What just happened? My ball felt weird. Are we good? Are we good? I think we're good. All right, so last game. We'll see what happens. Shot the Memphis Grizzlies. Still got my water cup. All right, so we're looking for our opponent. Let's see what happens. I can't even remember what the first game was against. Like, it's been so long. It's been 35 minutes. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right, we got to go. Let's get this last game going. Let's see what's going to happen. Can we get a game with water, another win with Water Toe Box? And uh, there is. We're playing against Paul Lynn A. Awas. All right, so we're playing against Dark and a Colors deck. So let's see. What's going to happen? And we won the coin vote, so we'll be able to go first. Yes, thank you, sir. All right. So, we got a mulligan. That's a mulligan, all right. Uh, so, let's see. Can we not start with Shaman or Hooper this time? That would be, be great. Oh, we beat a credit deck the first game. That's, that's what we beat. It's been such a long time since we played against it. All right, that's another mulligan. Yep. All right, so there we go. All right, so size to press done, and let's see what is my opponent playing. We got a man if you win. We got a pretty good turn one. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, if we top deck a Hoopa, be even better. And we get him. So Zora, there it is. There it is. The Ultra Ball. Sum it up. Ultra Ball. Discard Lysander. And do we even need Hoopa right now? That's the thing. Um, we we'll discard these two. Okay, I think I'm grabbing Articuno because like we really don't need Shaman right now or Hoopa. Like Hoopa can get us like another side start maybe, but I really we already have everything we need. So we'll put down Articuno, we'll put down Manaphy, we'll put a fight a fighting Fury Belt. We'll put a fighting belt on this guy and we'll play it in. Both players shuffle the hand of the deck and get six new cards. We kind of disrupt our opponent because he had a bunch of stuff. All right, so there's a max. Okay, this hand's pretty bad now. All right, we had a good hand, but now we don't. Oh, well, Max Luxer. There's a water energy on that guy, okay. We'll put a water energy on this guy. And we will end our turn. But next turn, we can potentially knock out the Zora with the Articuno. If we get like a retreat, energy switch, energy, some max looks or maybe. There's a bunch of stuff we can do next turn. But we got a top deck, so there's an even talk coming down. Alright, so that's that's makes us not win next turn. Max looks are attached to dark energy. That guy, okay. Uh, trainers mode, look at the top four cards of their deck, and let's see what do they decide to get out. That is the big question. So it looks like they're not going to get anything. A DC going to that guy. Uh, Battle Crest are going to discard three cards out of their deck. So, man, DC Water Energy on the first turn. Cannot complain about that. That's a pretty solid turn one right now. Uh, Compressor discarding Lysander, Delinquent, and a Hex Maniac. So there's Sycamore discarding the hand, drawn 70 cards. Man, they would have played Delinquent. This would have been really awkward. I can't put a final floodstone. They floodstone. We're in trouble. Uh, okay, so the pass onto our turn. That's great. And uh, energy switch. So we can energy switch. Move a water G up to this guy to this guy. And we can do a good old quick punch for 30 damage. All right, so there we go. That's what I wanted to see. Uh, so now opponent can't play any item cards, which is good. We're slowing them down. But even though it's still a threat, uh, there's a Zork coming down, which we don't care about too much. A DC on the active. Uh, Mind Jugger do. Uh, three, four, no, three, six, seven, eight. So eighty damage with mind jack. If I did the math right, yep. All right, so now our turn. We get a rough seas. So we'll put down rough seas. We'll heal our size toad. Let's see. Eball does 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, which is not a knockout yet. He needs one energy. And he can knock out a size toad. It's so another quick punch for thirty damage. All right, so up to sixty. All right, so what does my opponent do? Do they find energy and do they cope for an Eva Ball? Uh, they're, nope, gonna dark energy active. Put down Zark Break and they can grenade hammer for oh my goodness, they can grenade hammer. Sycamore discard their hand, draw seventy cards. Oh my goodness, things are looking bad right now. Shadow Sword coming down to give nope his Pokemon no weakness, but the weakness thing does not really matter. Foul play for the grenade hammer. Gonna do thirty damage to his Zark though. All right, all right, so we're gonna have four price cards, okay? Alright, alright, so we'll set up Articuno, and uh, let's see what's going to happen. We get a Sycamore, alright, so we'll Super Rod, we'll shuffle in uh, two Waters and a Seismitoad in the deck, okay. And I'm just going to Sycamore, discard our hand, draw 70 cards. Okay, so, 
we can Seismitoad, Fighting Free Belts, Water Energy, tr tr uh, do train. No, I'm just going to end my turn right now. I'm just going to end past my opponent's turn. Uh, we'll see what happens. What do they get is my question. Uh, Max looks here. Going to look at the top six guards of their deck. Going to put a Dark Energy to that guy. Then Evil Tall is becoming very, very. Another Max looks here, okay. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. That's a that's a giant evil tall there. So, oh my goodness, how do we do? <laughs> One, two, three, four, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Cool, cool beans. The party never stops for my opponent. This is getting scary right now. Okay, Malamar coming down. A uh, flowstone going down to Zork. Break. Okay. Oh baby, a Zerostic. Okay. Hmm. Alright, here comes good old Evil Tall. Okay, okay. A reverse file coming out. I mean, yeah, I think you already do enough, buddy. Um, 140. Alright, so we'll set up this guy. Oh, no hard turn. Okay. We'll get a water energy, so I'm attached to water energy. I'm going to train his mill. Um. We could go for Grenade Hammer, but that doesn't take a knockout. Uh, so I'm going to do is I'm going to grab Zerosic. Zerosic, the, the Fighting Free Belts. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He cannot take a knockout next turn. So yeah, I'm going to grab a Quake Punch. 440. Okay. 40 damage coming down. All right. So in our pause turn, we could Grenade Hammer for next turn. There's a, another Evil Talk coming down. Okay. DC on the active. And he's going to go for Evil Ball. Yes, he is. He is being really aggressive. That is not a knockout. All right, so in our turn, we get a Water G. So that's a Water G. We'll Scound Ring. Do we Scound Ring? Yeah, so we're going to Scound Ring. We're going to search for three EX Pokemon. We're going to grab, uh, not Manaphy, uh, Size Toad, Manaphy, and, no, we're going to grab this and the Shaman. Yes. Alright, so put those two cards in hand. Okay, alright, we'll put down size turn. We will shame and set up for four. We're looking for some uh, more max looks or something. Okay, alright, that's not what I wanted to see. Alright, so we're going to be a seeker four and in. Alright, so oh, we could wait for a Zerosic maybe to discard the dark, but then he can grenade hammers. Okay, so we're going to end. We need. We need to find some Max Luxor right now. There's a... Okay, double Max Luxor. Okay, we got to hit both of these to have a chance. So, Max Luxor number one. There's one. All right, so put it on Size Toad. Well, Max Luxor number two. Put it on Size Toad. All right, so now I feel fairly confident. All right, so do that. We will Grenade Hammer for the knockout. Put one and one. All right, all right. So, there we go. So, how many DCs down? One, two... He has one DC left somewhere. So we're going to have four prize cards. One and two. Okay. We get a energy switch and a water energy. Next turn, we can grenade hammer to knock out the Zork if we want to do that. Uh, now, opponent can use Quake and Push next turn with Zork, which would be very interesting. So, on our opponent's turn, they're going to draw a card. Okay. Dark energy that guy. Okay. And Trainer's Mill going to the top four cards of their deck. I'm going to grab it in. And will he play it or not? He needs to. Because our we, are, we have a pretty good hand. Uh, no. Mind Jack for 140. All right. So he's going to go to two price cards. I'm going to set up Sides Toad. And we will see what happens. On to our turn. We get a train as well. So I'm going to train as well. I'm looking for a rough season. There's a Via Seeker in. I'll grab the in. We'll put a Water in the active. And we will end. Both put ourselves the hand deck. He'll get one card. Yes, that's fine. I'm fine with him. I'm a low hand size. Alright, so what do we get? There's a Rough Seas, which is great. We don't have any Shamans left, so put down the Rough Seas. We'll heal that 30. Alright. And we will Grenade Hammer. Alright, so it's Grenade Hammer. Knock it out of Zork Break, and we'll do 30 and 30 to these guys. Uh, most like I'm going to put the Hoopa because it has more HP. Um, so 30, 30, okay. So, we'll go down to 3 price cards. We get a Starlet Megaphone. We can discard the Fighting Free Belt. Here comes uh, Even Tall Yex and Ultra Opponent's turn. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 130 right now. 
Alright, so that's, this is still very, very scary. We're in danger zone. So, Via Seeker for a Lysander. Uh, bring up that guy. Evil Ball will not knock us out. Alright, so in our turn, we get a Sycamore, Summoner of Rough Seas. I am going to Energy Switch. Bring an energy from this guy to this guy. Okay. We will Megaphone. And we will Sycamore discard our hand, drawn seven new cards. All right, so we are going to. He has another license and he can win next turn, which is very scary. So we'll retreat into this guy. And I'm going to Quick and Punch for 30 damage. All right. But next turn, we can knock it out. We have... Oh, we should put the Fighting Fuel regardless. So we can Fighting Fuel, knock out the active grenade hammer, and. Pro okay, so there's the E ball. We're looking really good right now. I don't think my opponent can have... Oh, man, I don't think my opponent can win next now. How many max looks are gone? Three max looks. All right, so we're going to... Um, fighting for the active. Rough Seas. Water Energy. Ultra Ball. Discard one and... Two. Um, yeah, discard these two. I'm going to grab another Size Toad. I'm going to put that guy down. I'm going to AZ, pick up the Manaphy, put it back into our hand, put it back down, and now we heal the Manaphy damage, and we now we'll Grenade Hammer for 140 to knock out the act and put 30 up to this guy. Alright. So we got out of one price card. What's going to happen? Alright, so here we go. Going down to one, getting two prize cards, a rough season, and a Sycamore. Alright, so here goes Malamar EX. And it's our opponent's turn. Let's see what's going to happen. This has been a crazy comeback. There's a fighting field going down to Malamar. Uh, Sycamore going to discard the hand. Draw seven cards. They have six cards left in the deck. Do we have another Via Seeker? We have plenty of Via Seekers. All right, Dark Energy in the active. We use a Hyper Hypnosis. Put us to sleep. Trainer's Mail. Look at the top four cards of their deck. Okay. All right. All right. Looks like they're not going to get anything. Okay. All right, so let's see. There's an Ultra Ball going to discard two cards from the deck, or two cards from the hand. Discard an and a Ranger. They played a Ranger as well. Okay, Evital coming down. All right. The Evital hit the field, and oh, we stay asleep. All right, so in our turn, we get a Water Energy. So I'm gonna rough seas. I'm gonna Water Energy this guy, Max Luxer. There's no target with three VS Seekers. All right, so. We will end our turn. That's all we can really do. Uh, hands, we do wake up. All right, so in my opponent's turn, they're going to draw a card, and let's see what's going to happen. Okay. Do they have energy and a Via Seeker for Lysander to bring up Shaman, and they get double heads, they can win the game? How many Via Seekers have they played? They have played two Via Seekers, or they might have two left. They have one switch in, the disc in their prize cards. I'm not sure how many opponent plays. Oh, man, this is exciting. This is a major comeback. Whatever happens... This has been a great game. Uh, there's a Via Seeker for Lysander. Do they have another energy or not? Lysander, bring out the Hoopa. They think we'll have a way to retreat. On to our turn. We get an uh, energy switch. All right, so we don't have yet. We'll rough seas. We'll water the active. Uh, free retreat into Size Toad EX, and we'll, we'll Quake a Punch for 40 damage. All right, so me ask my opponent. What do they get? Do they get an energy? Either way, we're not going to take out before them. I think we got this game. I know three out of our seven cards are via secrets onto our turn. We get an ultra ball. So we still have it. We'll rough seas one more time. And we'll grenade hammer. Wait, because we don't take a knockout. Wait, hold on. Nope, we don't take a knockout yet. We'll grenade hammer or quick punch for 40 more damage. Alright, 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 alright. So on our opponent's turn, they're going to draw a card. And let's see what's going to happen. Does our opponent have anything or not? That's the question. There's a victory screen coming out. We made a huge comeback. I thought we were going to lose. That Evital had so much HP, so much damage, but I think my opponent miscalculated and did 10, 210 instead of 220. That fighting three ball saved us. Oh my goodness. That was a crazy game. We somehow did that. I don't know how we did that. Oh my goodness. How many VS Seekers? They played four VS Seekers. Oh my goodness. That was crazy, guys. But hopefully you enjoyed the series. That was a crazy, crazy, crazy game. It looks like I got stats. I hit 310 damage. 
that's pretty crazy. But I hope we show this video. They, they did 900 damage and 800. Wow, we, we did less damage than them, but we still won the game. That's all that matters. But I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you, you enjoyed the Worlds. Uh, it's coming up tomorrow, uh, on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday on the finals. But thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Alrighty. Bye. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, 60 Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.